Hi friends, it's great to see you. My name is Vicki Maris and walking behind me is my Connemara pony, Carrie Moore Madison. I wanted to broadcast from outside today in memory of the wonderful acts of leadership and teamwork that happened on this date nine years ago. This is January 15th and this is the date when Captain Sully Sullenberger landed the U.S. Airways Flight 1549 in the Hudson after he and the uh, crew members were flying that flight and it hit birds and they lost both of their engines because of the bird strike. I actually have purposefully waited to read his book until now. I started it about Oh, about nine months ago or so and I actually put it down because I was traveling for work and I I didn't really want to read about a crash of an airliner uh, while I was going to be flying on an airliner to my destination and back but I have since uh, been reading his book I picked it up this is this is the copy of it this is Sully I have about one more chapter to go and I keep I keep stopping and rereading and making some notes or reading sections of it out loud to my husband it's really a good read so if you haven't yet uh, picked it up and read it I encourage you to do so such an amazing example of leadership and teamwork and fast decision making that ended up saving the lives of all of the people on that airplane. I'm broadcasting outside because it's about the same temperature as it was that day in New York City when they landed the plane on the Hudson and the water would have been frigid. It's about 20 degrees or so here in Indiana where I'm broadcasting from. I think it was around 18 degrees if I'm remembering right. Uh, from what I read, I might be off by a few degrees Fahrenheit, but it was cold. One of the things that I have thought about many times over, and my dad, who was a lifetime pilot, he flew for 23 years in the U.S. Air Force and uh, founded the Department of Aviation Technology at Purdue University and loved aviation history. He was always telling stories and teaching about his time when he flew B-24 bombers in World War II and several other types of aircraft. He also flew tow targets for fighter pilots to practice their shooting. That was the, what he did after his 30 missions in the bomber. But he always would tell me, you know, Vicki, when you're getting ready to take a uh, take a flight, dress accordingly. And I don't think he cared one way or the other if I was dressed up in a business suit or anything like that. But he was always thinking in case there was an emergency, be dressed in something that would be appropriate for uh, helping, your, helping you to survive in an emergency or to help others in an emergency. Hi, Madison. <laughs> I'm boring Madison. How about that yawn? <laughs> sorry, sweetie. I'm sorry. <laughs> So I, I always think about that, you know, when I'm getting ready for a flight and I wear closed toed shoes and I usually layer my clothing, even if I'm going to someplace really warm, I will dress so that I have layers so that if it gets cold, I can, you know, deal with that kind of weather as well. So I don't know, there's my little bit of advice about uh, what you should think about when you're getting ready to get on an airplane. I hope that none of us, and I'm sure uh, Sully, who is at Capt Sully, C-A-P-T-S-U-L-L-Y in Twitter, if you want to follow his account, I'm, sh I'm sure he too would say that we hope nobody ever ends up standing out on the wing of an airplane in the Hudson River or in any body of water again in the future. Hopefully uh, that won't have to happen again, but be, you know, be ready for it in case it does. So again, here is a copy of his book. I'm one chapter away from finishing it, and I purposefully read it. I saved it to read so I could finish it up close to the anniversary date. There have been many parts of it that have brought tears to my eyes just as I think about, again, the leadership, the teamwork, the way the crew worked together, the way the passengers helped out. I have since... Uh, gotten to know at least through Facebook one of the passengers who was on that flight and uh, have heard him speak on a podcast so I'm going to read his book next just 
I don't know, lots of interesting teachings have come out of that experience. So thank you, Captain Sullenberger, for all of uh, what you did and your co-pilot uh, to bring that flight down safely. And I just am appreciative. So I'm remembering it today and I wanted to share it in this way. Also has made me think a lot, I'm gonna start to tear up here in a sec, about my dad who passed away in 2008 about this time of year. So just this time of year always brings back a lot of memories. Take care, everybody.